Okay, in this video lesson, I'm going to share some of the tips that I have developed over the years of playing double bass. Hopefully they will assist you in reaching the speeds you want with your feet. The most important tip is to go easy on your feet. You have to remember how long it took you to develop your hand speed. It's going to be the same with your feet, so have some patience. The next tip is to really work on the settings on your double bass pedal, specifically the spring tension. If the springs are too loose, you're not going to get too much rebound on your foot pedal after you've kicked it. However, if they are too tight, you're going to have to work that much harder for each kick. So find that midway point where the pedals work perfect for you. Okay, next you want to find that sweet spot on the footboard of the pedal. Now if you're playing too far up, you're going to have to push that much further to get a beat. Let me demonstrate this. However, if you play with your foot too far down the pedal, you're not going to get any leverage at all. Let me show you how this looks. So try and find that sweet spot right in the middle of the footboard where you get the most kick for the least amount of work. Let me show you a few examples. Another thing you want to adjust on your pedals is the position of the beaters. If they're off center, you're not going to get enough bounce back from the head. Also, if you can move your beaters closer to the head, that's less distance they have to travel before they make a sound. So try and figure out the best position for your beaters. Finally, make sure when you're practicing, you practice both heel up and heel down playing. Although even if you don't play heel down, it's good to practice the motions because it develops the muscles in your feet. Now if you don't know how to play heel up or heel down, you can always check out Jared Falk's free video lesson on bass drum technique. Okay, I hope these tips were helpful for you. Now go back to your kit and implement them.